Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. The videos are thick and fast. I am at home still, I still can't work. I'm still waiting on my operation, which is the 22nd of June. So I've still got quite a while to go before I get my wrist fixed. Now I'm not actually, just for people out there, I get a lot of questions about it. I'm not in any pain anymore as such, only when I lift reasonably heavy things like five kilos and above and try and twist at the same time. So right now there's no pain, nothing. All that's happened is the TFCC tendon, which connects the ulna to the radius, isn't connected correctly. It's, it's gone, it's just not attached. So I'm getting an operation to slice me open here. They then stretch your fingers and pull your wrist apart and screw into the bone, into the ulna with a little hook and then hook the, the what do you call it? They hook the tendon, ligament, the ligament back over onto this bone. Hopefully it heals and I'll get back to work. That's the theory. Anyway, flowers in the dark from Dr. John's. Beautiful label, lovely tins, can't wait to use it. I really like the scent and thankfully the wife really likes it. Now, I don't know whether it's his real name or whether, I don't know whether it's a thingy name, but I don't know how to pronounce it either. But I'm going for Argerie Dre, or Dress, Argerie Dress. That's what I'm going for, mate. I hope it's close to how you say your name. Sent me this, all the way from the States. Flowers in the Dark from Dr. John's. He had the splash, I had the soap, and he offered to send me the splash and said he would send it. And his kindness was paid as well because someone else sent him a full set of Flowers in the Dark. So just how this hobby works is brilliant. But this smells very similar to the soap. I'm going to get stuck in anyway. The brush matches beautifully today. I'm going to be using my Rhodium Knot my two band silver tip, my actual brush, my one. Look out some of the excess and as you can see, it matches the colour scheme beautifully, I think. Now I've just flicked that out, look at that. I've been very, very good with this knot of late in terms of losing hairs, I haven't lost many. I've lost a few, but not many. I've lost one over the last three full ladders, which might seem a lot. But that's, that's pretty good considering the luck I've had with this brush up until now. So I have soaked the soap. Get the water out. Oh, just lovely. Right, it's very slick. But this soap is pretty much flowers in the dark. It, it is, in essence, a full on lavender scent. But it's got a little bit more happening in it. It's got a little bit of sort of darkness through it, a bit of earthiness, a bit of it's just more going on in here. And for my wife to turn around and like a floral scent, that says a lot for how good the soap for this is not the soap the scent is. Because my wife's not big on floral scents, she's never never quite liked them. So here we go, straight in with the 28mm rhodium knot housed in my that damn rob handle. I've had quite a bit of feedback, or quite a few comments, good comments on my knife unboxing that I did for my Nathan James Knives knife. And it, I mean, it's a beautiful knife. I've actually used it now for some veggies and some salads and things like that. And it, it's really, really nice to use. It's a very different experience to a standard stainless steel blade. Right, I'm going with that. I'm not going to add any more. I don't know how long that load was. But there it is in all its entirety. I'm just going to scoop out the excess, pop that on my face. Now one thing I noticed with this soap is that when I squish it down to try and make it fill the tub again because it, it when you first get it it fills the tub it touches the sides. Once you use it a few times and air it out it shrinks a little bit and it doesn't touch the sides anymore which it, that annoys me because the water gets down the sides. So what I normally do is I press the sides of the soap all the way around and touches the tub again and it doesn't really make any impact. Now this is this isn't a hard soap, but oh, slick, I can't get the stuff off my finger. What I found when I do that with this soap in particular, not not all soaps, just this one pretty much, is that it it cracks and, and doesn't like it splits, it doesn't actually it just squish to the sides, it actually splits off. It's, got, it's so slick. I'm really dousing my hands in the water here trying to get this. Trying to get the soap off. Oh crap. I don't remember it being this slick. And again, I haven't really 
loaded that much in and it's, I don't think I soaked it last time either. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that crack just about here? There's a bit of a crack there, there's one over here. It just seems to split when you, when you squish it. It's not a problem, it's just just an observation I made when I was doing it. But yeah, back to the Nathan James knife. I'm trying to, try to talk a lot of different stories at the same time. I'm going to the doctors as well, so I'm trying to make this reasonably quick. For my throat, finally, get my throat looked up. So yeah, if you are into knives, but kitchen knives, not so much hunting knives and things, but kitchen knives and you like cutting up veggies and fruit and salads and meat and things like that. The San Mai steel, which is really, really, really hard steel. I did a bit of reading on it, I spoke to Nathan about it. It's pretty much a brittle steel. It's so hard that it's brittle. So you've got to be careful with it that you don't actually break the edge, not chip it or bend it, you can do it just snap and brittle. So you've got to be careful with it when you're making it. Now, I don't think Nathan made this, that, Sanmai, I think that actually was from Japan, made in Japan for him, which is pretty special really. Now if you use a normal stainless steel knife and you cut through, say a vegetable, it's quite smooth, it just slices through if it's a good knife, like Global Knives and Victorinox, there's loads of others, but that's the ones that I've got in the kitchen at the moment. They just slice through nice and smooth. Now the feeling of Sanmai steel is like it feels like you're cutting with a ceramic knife where it's got that sort of a slight roughness to it and, but it's not rough, it's not leaving a rough cut it just feels like it's rough like a ceramic edge the whole idea behind it is that you don't need to sharpen it a lot because it's so hard the edge just holds for ages so I'm really looking forward to putting it to the test with some veggies and maybe do a big pot of soup just chop some stuff up and probably do it on video because I want to showcase his knife as well I think he's relatively new in terms of his business he's been around for about five years I think he's worked really hard and he's come a long way and I think to showcase the quality of his knife by terms of its cutting and I'll showcase it aside his first knife that I bought from him it'll really highlight how far he's come right let's splay this Okay, straight off the bat, this is very dense. This is a denser knot for me than the three band, or it feels denser. It's still very soft on the tips. This one's got way more backbone. It's, uh, you've got to really give it a little bit to split it a bit. In comparison to the Rhodium three band that I've got at the moment. I'm not sure what size that knot is, but it looks about a 26 or a 27 mil. Actually, I'm not sure because I put it next to this one and this one looks really wide compared to it. So it might only be 24 or 25, it just looks bigger. This knot is still amazing, it's, but I just I do actually find that three band to be better. It feels nicer on the face. It's got plenty of scrub. It's got loads of backbone, not as much as this, but it's just ever so slightly better, I think. But what I'm going to do is actually try and do a comparison with it. So I'll maybe do the left side of my face with this brush and do the right side of my face with the three band. not losing any hairs from this knot anymore so far Right, let's just take the brush and paint some water in. I 
Now the lather from Dr. John's is always a little bit lighter than the denser soaps, of course, but it's very slick. It smells incredible. In terms of scent strength, it's right up there like a six or seven. It's really strong, but it's very relaxing. Obviously lavender is a relaxing scent in general. And a shaving soap is lovely because it's just right there under your nose. There's enough scent strength in this. And here we go. So the razor again, I'm just going to use it. I'm going to use this and use it as much as I can before I send it back to Surjan. Is the Wolfman pre-branding Wolfman? So there's no branding on the under underneath of the base plate. Aluminium 0.61 blade gap, dual comb or dual head. Sorry, you've got your open comb side here. And on the other side, you've got a solid bar. Same with the Met Blade, with the Met Super Iridium. This is the fourth use. So it's done three face shaves, three full face shaves, and one full pass on a head shave. Excuse me, and it still felt incredible. So I'm just going to stick to the close comb side today, I think, because it's 21 hours growth. I've got a doctor's appointment, and I don't want to turn up looking like Jack the Ripper. So here we go. Just so smooth this blade. It's a very deceiving razor though, 0.61 blade gap. It really highlights the fact that a blade doesn't really Sorry, the blade gap, albeit does sort of determine a little bit of the efficiency and aggression of things. The blade exposure, the geometry of the head and everything, it, it really plays a part. Like, in comparison to the B plate from Carve, which is 0.73 blade gap, which is 0.12 more, this has got almost twice as much blade feel to me. And therefore, it's very, very efficient. I mean, I can feel the blade every stroke. It's not uncomfortable, I just feel it, I know it's there. The lightness of the razor allows me to really control. The shave. First pass done, that was wonderful. Let's just dip the hand in the water, scoop some of that soap off, sink is full of soap. The great thing with this soap, as with many, many soaps, I find more probably with vegetal based soaps, there's no soap stuff, but it's not done, it's, it's all rinsed away now. Wet my hands, yeah. wonderful, wonderful residual slipper. You can always sort of tell it's pretty good because you do get a, a bit of a shine from the residual slickness. It's not the great residual slickness, I find my skin looks quite sort of matte, not shiny. Right, here we go. Put the second lather. This is still an absolutely amazing knob. I mean, there's not much in it, to be honest. I just find that that three band just it's got loads of scrub, but it's just ever so slightly softer, I think. But we'll find out when I put them next to each other and actually check it. If you haven't checked out Jack over at the Virtual Groom Room's latest ladder with Kaizen, you're missing out. I mean, that, that was phenomenal, that ladder. I mean, in comparison to this, this looks like nothing. This looks like wishy-washy crap, really, compared to how dense and creamy and glossy and amazing that looked. And this is brilliant ladder. So here we go, second pass. Mm. 
like this. There's nothing left. It's, it's a very, very efficient razor. really sings like I said before it's mainly blade chatter it's making the noise but it's not uncomfortable I don't really feel at risk that I'm going to cut myself That's the famous last words, this is when you do cut yourself. Pass number two, done. Yeah, as much as having this broken arm has caused a lot of stress and pressure and stuff, it's it's given me an opportunity to try and fix my body as well. I've I've had obviously I've had an operation on my varicose veins and had my left leg stripped. I'm booked in, well not booked in, but I'm on the list to get my right leg done, hopefully before I go back to work, if I get back to work. I'm getting my throat seen set. There's a lot of things that were going on. You, you sort of end up a bit like a car run down and in place of uh, needing things fixed. A bit of maintenance. The old Dr. Jones, good stuff. This blade's getting better and better and better. The great thing with it is it didn't feel rough at all when I first used it. One weeper. really getting a feel for this razor. Surjan actually sent me a post that I think it was on eBay. Aluminium WR1, two handles, same blade gap. More recent model with the branding and that on it. $1,091 <laughs> excluding shipping. No thanks. Just nick myself on my lip there. Just a very, very small one. That's okay.
a little nick there, tiny one. But, oh no, there's a few little creepers coming, I can see them. I can see them creeping up, bastards. Okay, we the brush out. Loads of salt left in the brush. I mean, the one thing with these really dense knots is I find I have to personally really overload them to make them work. I don't get a great ladder from them if I only half arse it. But I go all in. Here and there, little creepers. Not too bad. I don't, I don't know why I wasn't getting any water pressure. soap out which is great give a bit of a tidy up right splash just gonna whack this straight on now talk about the shave and then I'll pop on my AP reserve so the splash is Dr John's flowers in the dark the ingredients are very very simple got alcohol witch hazel rose water fragrance glycerin aloe aloe and menthol flammable contents this is quite a dark, rich scent in comparison to the soap. I find the soap a lot lighter in scent to this. Uh, uh, sorry, a lot more so. Oh God, the blood everywhere. Post shave on that soap's fantastic as well. Right, let's get a little splash of this, this good gear here. Whew. That's a good burn. Oh, it's gone now, the burn's gone instantly. Now I'm getting menthol. Mm. That is quite a quite a different scent to the soap. In a very, very good way. And it, that's really got some good skin food in it as well. I can feel it. Wow. Pretty good stuff. Massive thanks for sending them out. Something that's very hard to get hold of in Australia is splashes. For someone just to flick one over and pay the postage, you know, that's amazing. Yeah, I can feel that. Look at how long that'll take to dry in, but we'll talk about it as we go. Still weeping. Flowers in the Dark from Dr. John's. Brilliant label, brilliant soap, great scent. It's not like I'm not a big fan of floral either, like my wife, but I do like this. It's, it's definitely a, it's probably, I would say, a more manly version of a floral. You know, I, I can I can deal with it. It doesn't upset me or anything smelling. It's, it's a nice smelling soap, nice scent. The brush was my 28mm Rhodium Knot, hand tied in Australia in my that darn rob handle the razor it's a really good razor I mean, I've got a few weepers in the end but the Wolfman WR1 aluminium I don't know exactly how old it is but it's obviously been around for a little while because it's before he started branding his razors finished off today with the Dr John's Flowers in the Dark Splash same amazing little label it's great i actually like the lid on it as well it's quite vintage looking no it's not like it's not plastic or anything like that really really nice brilliant and i'm going to finish off now with australian private reserve essentials restoration peptide concentrate serum i'm just going to wet my hands flick off the excess and squirt and here we go yeah that's that's a good week for that one Thank you. 
And there we have it, another cracking sheath. With some cracking products. I mean, this is premium stuff, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing budget about it, unfortunately. This, it's, it is what it is, but I enjoy using them. This one will sadly have to go home. I'm going to use it as much as I can while I can. That wee bit just does not want to stop. I'll knock that on the air when I get off the camera. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.